Uh, well, first off, I gotta say, oh my God, I did not see that coming at all. And I'm not giving anything away because I want everybody to be just as surprised as I was, and I'm shocked. But I've gotta ask, when you are writing a script like this, or when you guys are reading a script like this, do you get to that point where the plot twist happens and you're like, I gotta be a part of this, or I've gotta get this movie made? What is that like for you guys? As I was writing it, you know, for me, I disassociate when I write, so I just let go and let the character speak to me. But there were some other things that were going on in the news, and I had seen this documentary called Gideon's Army by the Public Defender's Office. So I think all, all of those things started showing up in the work. And when the twists and turns started happening at the end, because I kept trying to ch trace down, chase down the motivation for these characters, why they were doing this, and saying those things, and seeing those moments, I was like, wow. So yeah, I w as I'm writing it, I'm having the moment that everybody's having as they're seeing it play for the first time. Well, um, why are you laughing, Crystal? What is the matter? I was laughing because it was crazy. Yeah, okay, all right, okay, good. <laughs> and I'm just looking at her face too because I know she's <laughs> thinking it too. Like, what? Good. That was nuts. Good. Well, yeah, because you think you're going one way and then you try to go another, another way. You're like, and these I know. Well, I mean, it do doesn't it. happen often that we're like surprised. I mean, I don't know. Exactly. You guys probably see a lot of movies. I see a ton of movies. So when something like that happens, I'm like. Damn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. Oh. Exactly. Good because people say Tyler Perry's predictable, so I had to punch him in the face with. This. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Officially oh, punched no. in the face uh, by Tyler Perry. <laughs> 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 there you go. Um, well, and you know the other thing that kind of surprised me when we got to the end of the movie, I was almost expecting to see a you know based on actual events, based on a true story, because I mean you see news stories yeah. nowadays that are not that you know far from where we are with this film. Yeah. Um, when you guys are making a movie like this, I mean, is that going through your head when you're looking at these characters and how to portray them? Well, for me, playing a public defender, I wanted to draw from real experiences. And again, like Tyler Perry said, I keep Tyler calling Perry. you Tyler Perry. <laughs> Tyler <laughs> shared with me. I mean, he is Tyler Perry. That's his um, whole name. <laughs> that's whole name. Um, but Tyler shared with me Gideon's Army documentary and just to see the lives of these public defenders and what they go through and how they bring their work home and their personal lives are affected by their work. I wanted to show that as much as I could in this character, Jasmine, you know, to give her that empathy and to give her that strength that she finds in, you know, just the determination that she has to find in just defending her client. Well, one of the things as I was watching this movie, as it wrapped up, I was first off thinking, I'm like, I'm so glad I'm, I'm not dating anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad. <laughs> I know. Um, but it definitely, it takes you back and you start thinking about all the crazy relationships and things that you've been in. Do you guys just have any crazy dating stories that you could share that you have experienced? Not like that, no. Nothing remotely close. Mm -mm, praise oh, God. Yeah, but yeah. I have to say that after the movie, after the, the two. Wait, Crystal, you have? Tell us. No. Oh, okay, okay. No. <laughs> what I was going to say gonna was say? that after the movie, after I started screening, two different people came up to me to tell me that it had happened to them. One was a man, then it, the other was a woman. So men and women have had this happen to them. I was like, that's unbelievable. Well, one of the things I liked, especially about your character, Shannon's, uh, and Shannon in the movie, is I feel like you're getting the view of like old school dating versus new school dating, if that yeah. makes sense. Because you've got the your characters kind of got that old school. I want to you know be courted. courted. I want to yeah the romance. Whereas Shannon's approach is kind of much more selfish and much more modern day feel to, to the dating approach. But mm -hmm. he adapted in order to get what he wanted. Well, yes, yeah. he did. Take notes. Yeah, I'm just saying that's how it is. It seems nowadays. Do you guys? I mean, were you? Keeping that in mind when you were writing these characters, when you guys were playing these? I, for me, I, I was just letting them dictate to me who they were. I wasn't trying to move them in any, any way or mold them, again, disassociate from it. And um, to see that, I was like, wow, because yeah, there is a big difference. There's a big difference. Um, and I always, I kind of like to wrap up with this question because I feel like there is no greater endorsement for a project than from the people that put their blood, sweat, and tears into it. So for you guys, uh, can you tell me why should people watch A Fall From Grace? It's good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Period. And, I, and I, you know, this is her first leading role and I really, really want her to be supported in this thing. I want it to be huge because Crystal Fox has been in this business for 40 years waiting for this moment and it's finally here. And this cast is amazing. The mm -hmm. story, the twist, the turns, you're never going to be able to figure it out. If you want a thrill ride, this is the one. Well, you guys were all fantastic. Thank and you. I really, really am appreciative of the work that you guys done. Thank you so much for talking with Thank us today. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you.
fucking great. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Period. And, I, and I, you know, this is her first leading role, and I really, really want mm -hmm. her to be supported in this thing. I want it to be huge, because mm -hmm. Crystal Fox has yes. been in this business for 40 years, waiting for this moment, mm -hmm. and it's finally here. And this cast is amazing. The mm -hmm. story, the twist, the turns, you're never going to be able to figure it out. If you want a thrill ride, this is the one. And I really, really am done. Thank you so much for talking with Thank us.